Hi friends of golfers, Eric Solberg, EJS Golf Academy. So we're gonna talk about a series I'm producing here and hopefully you guys are gonna stay through for it because it's gonna be enlightening. Why? Because I'm talking about a topic here that affects so many golfers, okay? And if you're an amateur and you're listening to this, there's a probably a pretty good chance it affects you. What is it? Casting, okay? Casting the golf club. A lot of people have different definitions of it, about what it is. In essence, they're all talking about the same thing, okay? So let's kind of knock that out first, and I'll get into a little bit more about the series is. Um, ultimately, how it's going to help you. That's why I do these. I don't do it for me. So what I would like you to do, if you can, is subscribe and like. Hey, ask me a question. That's what I'm here for. I'll try to help you. Um, so let's just say we got to the top, no matter how, how we got there. We're here. Now, I, I probably should have prefaced that because... There are going to be ways we get up here to the top that, that are part of what, what goes wrong, okay? But if I get up here, I'm going to use some of my short club too because I don't have enough as much room in between here. Um, it's this move where we lose all these wrist angles like this. So you would see somebody swing at the top, and you see by this point they're like this, you, something like this right here. And what would you see with them hitting? A lot of backing up and a lot of this. Now, let's say there's better players that do this, too, because remember, as I've talked to you about in other videos, it's another way of, of closing the club face, okay? So if I get to the top here and I'm doing this, right, so I have this big gap here, right? Even if I'm a better player and I stay more on my left side, I can rotate out of the way and get the club face square. So I want to make one point really, really, really clear here about this casting, okay? Casting is cause for a reason, okay? Nobody got up there to do a swing and decide to cast, okay? And for all of you who are trying to fix it nonstop for years and years and years, I know you don't want to do it and are trying to break it, okay? So there could be some motor pattern stuff built in that too is why it's happening now. But there's a lot of other things going on with that we need to understand first, okay? We don't grab a golf club right away and swing and go like, this is how we do it, okay? It's not what happens in our golf swings, okay? We kinematically do not do that. We, we would move our lower body. We would get power. We'd start moving this. Last thing to go would be up here, okay? So there is a reason we do it by faults and things we do in our swing that force this to happen, okay? Now, the caveat to that thing is this. If you build up this motor pattern where, okay, I'm swinging, and I'm just so used to just this, right? Okay, and then let's say I get you fixed in one of your moves that you make. Do you think you're not going to still do this? Some do, some don't. But there's a pretty high chance when the first move we're making down, we're moving pretty fast. Remember, the swing takes about one second, maybe 1.2 for some, 1.25. For a one-second swing, 0.8 of it is your backswing. So you're reacting on the way down, okay? So that's 0.2 seconds of reaction meaning I don't have any time. I'm here. So what am I going to do on the way down? I'm going to do what I'm used to. This, okay, which is right here. Even if I put myself in a better position, that's possible to still happen. Good news is this. It can be broken much easier when the other parts are moving correctly, okay, that this doesn't have to happen. Remember, though, this happened. This started to help you out, okay? There's a reason this is happening. There's something you're doing in your golf swing that this helped you get the club face on the ball like that okay now i'm going to get into a bunch of the reasons as we go along through this series okay there's a bunch of different reasons but let's just say let's just well just so you guys know that i know some <laughs> i'll do one really quick and i'll show you this i don't have a ton of room for the driver in here but let's say this like so the driver we have to you know most of us unless we swing really super fast are trying to get up on it a bit right so we're not trying to swing down like iron. Meaning our head, when we're doing a driver, cannot go forward, okay? We need this to go back, we're creating, we're going, pushing back, tilt this way so we swing up, right? So what happens if I do this golf swing like this? I'm gonna make sure I don't run out of room here. Hit, hit my new TRS driver titleist, thank you. Um, I'm right here, right, I'm swinging. I'm gonna start my down swing, I move like this. What am I gonna do now? I'm gonna start pushing back a little bit. What am I, am I gonna go like this? No. What do you think is going to happen to help me out? I moved way ahead. I'm going to do something like this. I see this all the time. Okay. So it helped you, right? It helped the golfer that did that. Yours may not look that bad. And like I tell you, I, I 
teach scratch golfers that still do it that don't have shaffling. They just really dialed in that their low point is so good, but there always is a limiting factor in golf, meaning they're scratched. They're probably not going to go much higher because they're coming in this. They don't hit the ball that long. They don't compress it like this. They don't take any of the loft of it by doing that, and they're not driving down, so spin isn't the same. Sometimes they catch a little thick, okay? So we know now that this starts like this. So another thing I want to show you um, that will help explain it, baseball, because most people have played softball before or even just hit a ball somewhere, okay? This is what I want to show you what it would be like, okay? So I, here I am playing baseball. If somebody just pitches, I go, I just hit it like this, right? Now I'm going to go down to impact. Look where I am. This looks exactly what people look like at impact. Boom, boom, everything straight up. It looks like they're still at address, okay? Exactly like it. What did I do? I'm getting ready to hit. I go, exact same thing as the, the cast. Throw like this. It'd be the same thing as hitting a ball, baseball, stopping the, the whole body and going like this. It got square, though. You notice that? How square it is down at the bottom? I squared it up. So this person's going to think, oh, this is right in their head. Until they look at the video and throw up. So... Why? Okay, so maybe somebody's asking, what's wrong with that? There's people scratch that do that. Well, what's wrong is like what I said, low point, the lowest point on the arc is hard to manage. That's one of the biggest things about becoming a really great golfer is managing our low point. If you watch any of my series where I talk about impact, it's all about that. So managing that. So you're bringing the possibility of fat shots, thin shots. And remember, somebody who does this, the somebody who is a scratch, it's not the norm for them to be doing that, okay? But there are some that do, okay? So we have established that we do this. I didn't show you the baseball. I, didn't, I did not finish. So baseball, right? I'm going to do it for real this time. I'm going to go, like, I'm going to hit it really hard. I'm going to go, see what I did? Held wrist angles, right? Which would be like a baseball swing. I'd go like this. I'd clear out of the way. I'd be like this, ready to go, boom. But I'm going to turn this over like I would for golf. Look where I'm at now. Which one would you rather have? That's what it's like. And so when I explain that to people and show them that this, here, here you are, you're getting ready to hit a here comes the fastball. That would be your swing right there. That, that's it. Now the club's going to be a little longer, so if you get, it'll get some more whip to get it out there. But that's, that's in essence, what it is with this losing that angle. So a bunch of other reasons we're going to get into this. But the good thing for you guys is there's going to be drills in this. There's going to be understanding. And my way that I teach my students is, Obviously, I do drills like others, but feedback is so important. There's never a drill I give out that my student doesn't know checkpoints on it due to feedback. I have mirrors. You'll see me looking at mirrors all the time. I have, you know, we'll be putting bars on, we'll put lines down, we'll put chalk down, we'll do all, we'll use training aids, but they're all going to be focused on when we're, so we're going to have to work on some backswing stuff for some of you guys, but it's all going to be focused on how do we get rid of this. Now, you're going to notice when I get help get rid of this guy is that it's not just like, Okay, guys, now I want you to swing up to the top. I want you to hold this wrist angle, and I want you just to power through this like this. You're not going to hear that from me. How come? Because it never, ever, ever works. No one breaks the cycle fully by doing that. Okay? By manually just thinking we can hold this thing, because what happens when you're swinging? What is the real speed of that? Do you think you can really manually hold that like that? It's so far from what the truth is to the golf swing that it's it's pretty asinine, Okay. So you won't hear that out of me. I'm going to have a much better way that's going to hit, get you hitting the ball better, quicker, okay? So you're going to start looking like, let's say you're here. My goal for you guys is to be here. Hands ahead of the ball. We don't need to be like some of the guys on tour that are 12 to 14 inches. We don't swing it that fast, okay? But we need some shaffling so we come down and catch this thing more on the correct groove, right? So we gain distance. Deloft it a little bit, gain more distance, but get more spin out of it. Hit these how they're supposed to be. And just become a really good ball striker. That's where consistency is held at, guys. Every lesson I have asks me about consistency, okay? Consistency is in our ball strike. No one will ever have consistency with this. Doesn't mean you can't go play a good round of golf. That's a round of golf. Consistency is not based on one round of golf, okay? Join me for this series. This is going to be a blast. You're going to learn a lot. You're going to understand it. You're going to have the drills. And if you do it the way I teach like I do my students with the timing and how I have you do it on this weekly basis, then you should be out of it by the time this is done, if not quicker, when you fully understand it. So come along this ride. Let me know how you're doing during this time, and let's get rid of your cast once for all.
Eric Silver, EJS Golf. Thanks for watching.